Good day everyone! In this lesson, you will learn the concepts that you can use to investigate the relationship between the amount of force applied and the mass of the object to the amount of change in the object's motion. The lesson objectives are Describe how external forces affect object at rest and in motion. Explain how the net force acting on an object affects its acceleration. And compare interacting forces in terms of magnitude and direction. An object may be acted upon by several forces whether object is at rest or in motion. An object may be pushed or pulled in different directions at the same time. For you to identify the forces which cause the change in the motion of the object, it is important to determine all the forces acting on the object. Observe the picture and assess if there is a motion produced. Why do you think so? Motion is a phenomenon in which an object changes its position over time. Motion is described in terms of displacement, distance, velocity, acceleration, speed, and time. In this illustration, the bus is moving from its reference point of its place of origin. The bus moves with constant speed. With regards to the man, there is no motion as there is no change in his position nor displacement. What will happen to the man as he is standing still and the bus suddenly accelerates? How about when the bus suddenly stops? Force is simply defined as the push or a pull of an object with a specific magnitude and direction. The push or pull on an object can vary considerably in either magnitude or direction. The man's body has inertia and so a force is needed to change its velocity. The man's body moves backward as the bus moves forward. The illustration earlier demonstrates the property of an object to resist any change in its state of motion. This is known as inertia. A body at rest remains at rest or if in motion, remains in motion at constant velocity unless acted by a net external force. All objects have the tendency to resist changes in their state of motion or keep doing what the objects are doing. However, changing a body's state of motion depends on its inertia. A more massive object which has more inertia is more difficult to move from rest, slow down, speed up, or change its direction. Inertia is exhibited when the body moves forward as if it continued to move. This is the reason why drivers need to buckle up their seatbelt to prevent them to move forward in case there is a sudden stop or bump. Study the figure shown on your screen. This shows acceleration of a large mass of object. The moving truck accelerates at speed lower than smaller object with smaller mass. Newton's second law pertains to the behavior of objects if the forces are not balanced or if the external net force is not zero. In the presence of a net force, the object will accelerate. Newton's second law of motion can be formally stated as the acceleration of an object as produced by a net force is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force in the same direction as the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. The second law states that 
the acceleration of an object is dependent upon two variables, the net force acting upon the object and the mass of the object. So, the acceleration of an object depends directly upon the net force acting upon the object and inversely upon the mass of the object. As the net force increases, so the object acceleration will also increase. On these figures, which do you think will have a greater acceleration? Correct. Car which has smaller mass will have greater acceleration as compared with the bus. Force is measured by multiplying the mass of an object to its acceleration. The formula is written as F is equal to mass times acceleration where F is force, M is mass, and A is acceleration. Suppose a grocery cart has a mass of 0 0.45 kg is pushed with a force of 90 newton. What will be the acceleration of the grocery cart? Following the Gressa method, given mass is 0 0.45 kg force is 90 newton required acceleration equation acceleration is equals to force divided by mass solution acceleration is equal to 90 newton or kilogram meter per second squared over 0 0.45 kilogram answer Acceleration is equal to 200 meter per second squared. Newton's third law of motion deals with the reaction of a body when a force acts on it. Let a body A exerts a force on another body B. Body B reacts against this force and exerts a force on body A. The force exerted by body A on body B is the action force, whereas the force exerted by body B on body A is called the reaction force. Newton's third law of motion states that to every action, there is always an equal but opposite reaction. According to this law, the action is always accompanied by a reaction force and the two forces must always be equal and opposite. Note that action and reaction forces act on different bodies. Here are some of the situations that deals practically in understanding the third law of motion. 1. Pushing a car When making a push, to a car, a force is exerted in a car, whose reaction will push us directly with the same force in opposite direction. Heating a ball We exert an amount of force against the ball with the bat, which in reaction exert the same force on the wood. This is why the bat can break while the balls are thrown. Deflating a balloon The air inside rushes down and the balloon moves upward. In this situation, the action is by the balloon that pushes the air out when setting free. The reaction is the movement of the balloon upward. For you to measure your understanding for this lesson, please answer the learning task 1 to 4. Thank you very much.